Michael, dude, I didn't see this one going anywhere. I, I played it way back when on PS4, but here we go. Detroit Become Human has sold upwards of 10 million units. Nice. David Caracasoli over at PSU. Dude, shout out to David. Detroit Become Human has now sold in excess of 10 million units worldwide, developer Quantic Dream happily reported on Monday. The new sales milestone comes a little more than a year after the last big check mark, which was 8 million copies in January 2023. Announcing the news on his personal Twitter account, Chief Executive Officer Gilmon, I'm going to go with that, was also specified about the specific about the fact that these sales are actual sales, not the sales plus all the copies redeemed when the game was available on PlayStation Plus, for example. Which is cool, right? Mm -hmm. But the entire Quantic Dream team is joining me to proudly announce that Detroit Become Human has sold in excess of 10 million paid units on PlayStation and PC. End quote. Quote, we are extremely grateful to each and everyone out there who played the game. You mean the world to us, and we couldn't have achieved this incredible milestone without every single one of you. End quote. It's good to see for Quantic Dream's sake that Detroit Become Human continues to sell, adding another 2 million units in under two years since the last sales update. In the meantime, though, we're still, we've still not heard much of anything about Star Wars Eclipse. <laughs> mm. Dude, what is that thing doing? What is going on? In fact, the only recent uh, Eclipse-related news was the one that the studio's veteran writers left to form his own company. Ouch. But that's the biggest thing now. We've had years go by. Where is Star Wars Eclipse, Michael? That's the question, right? And I mean, this was rumored, what, 2021? It's been in development, I think, since... Four or five years, we talked about this the other day on the show, right? We're starting to hit that timeline where I think you've got to make a declaration, either scrap it or release it, right? Again, once we hit that eight, nine, ten year mark, we do not have gifts, Skull and Bones, Concord, not other games are making that ten year development timeline and popping off. But focus on the positive, I think, yeah, Detroit Become Human, two million copies since January 23 is probably the most impressive part, right? The fact you're still selling copies of this game fairly regularly awesome to see it feels like we're almost falling into that like gta 5 model that you myself and all the talk about <laughs> on the show right where you have a game that's so successful right i mean again you're selling two million copies a year well after its release do you really worry about star wars eclipse or do you just put resources into keeping detroit become human updated bringing new players in you're clearly doing a good job bringing them in already i mean by 2020 by this time in 2025 if they're at 12 million I think Star Wars Eclipse just gets the boot and they just say, look, like we have found a game selling 2 million copies every year, year and a half. Like, what's the point of developing Star Wars? We have a successful IP. And I think this is something, again, we talked about. If you have a successful model, it's very hard to say, all right, we want to branch out. We want to make a new game. And you have a game raking in the cash. So I love to see everyone trip become human. But I start to wonder if this game keeps popping off, if Star Wars Eclipse ever makes an appearance. I think we'll get Star Wars Eclipse. I think they want to be able to move on, right? It's just, this is the little Easter egg that's kind of keep giving back. Mm -hmm. I think is what it's, what's going on, right? It's one of those nice things. It is a point A to point B experience, but how you get to that point B is different for everybody. The way they tell stories there are one of the best. Like, it's incredible, that journey, because my journey from Steve's journey to another friend of ours at the time, dude, it was, everybody had a different experience. And that's the water cooler moment that Quantic Dream creates, right? They've done it with heavy rain. And they've just continued on that model of, okay, this is how everything's going to go down. And then the way you choose your path to get there, like even going back to Prophecy, Indigo Prophecy, way back when, there's a shout out to a man, there's a backlog a long time ago, that game. That was like PS2, I want to say. Ooh. Dude, that was, a, yeah, that was a while ago, man. That was a while ago. Um, but it recently just popped up, which was weird too. But here we go, Quantic Dream, now still moving forward with Detroit Become Human. Do we get a sequel? We've never really seen a sequel to anything else before. So does this mean we just completely move on to the next one, where we're getting Star Wars Eclipse, right? I think there's a lot to pull from the name Star Wars as well. That's the bigger hook, really, mm -hmm. is nobody really knew who Detroit Become Human was. There was a PlayStation exclusive, it came to PC, and then they've always lined themselves with PlayStation so, so well. Star Wars allows them to branch out. Dude, Star Wars, I, I would expect to see everywhere on everything. PC, mm -hmm. Xbox, right? I doubt the Switch, but PlayStation. <laughs> Just say it. 
<laughs> yeah, saying, right? They're going to be pushing the tech here, I think, pretty hard, pretty heavily, and then moving into a bigger audience to have that. Because we don't have a telltale experience anymore like we used to get, right? When we had The Walking Dead, you have those story moments you all be talking about. And then Quantic Dream had their stuff. Dude, there's nobody doing this right now. Like, there's really nobody out there right now kicking on that kind of pedigree of storytelling in that manner. So, very curious to see when is Star Wars Eclipse coming, because it's been so long. But yeah, hats off, man. Detroit Become Human, still going.